DeSantis weighed in on that yesterday. You mentioned Ron DeSantis a moment mm-hmm. ago uh, in the polls. Uh, DeSantis, as you know, has been sinking a bit in the polls, number one. Then he comes out yesterday after being quiet for a couple of days and uh, finally sort of defends Donald Trump at the beginning by attacking Alvin Bragg, but then steps in it by saying, I don't know about the porn star. I don't know about the affair when Donald Trump has denied this for many years. And a lot of people in Trump world are furious about that. And I don't know, John, how you win a Republican primary when you're angering the Trump base. But what was your reaction to all that? Uh, listen, it's a classic having it both ways statement, right? You, you say something that makes it look like you're favorable support, and then you cast doubt against Donald Trump in the same statement. That's old-fashioned politics. It's part of the reason that Donald Trump keeps portraying Ron DeSantis as an old guard Republican using old tactics. Can't make up his mind. Wants to have it both ways. Mm-hmm. Comes from the George W. Bush, Jeb Bush uh, lineage. And so uh, I think that DeSantis plays into that every time he uses a doublespeak attack on the president to make it look like he's for him, but he's also against him at the same time. Uh, you know, when, if, the, if Ron DeSantis gets into the ring, and that's a big if, right, because he hasn't done it yet, uh, he's going to find out what a prize fight feels like, right? He's going to get punched a lot harder than he's been punched up to this point in his career. And I think he's cognizant of that. I thought it was a, a sort of a mixed message tepid response. I want to say something about the president's video, though, because it's very uh, unusual to think about this. But last night on our show, a very liberal Democrat who openly admits that he supported Joe Biden, Alan Dershowitz, the great Harvard Law professor, said almost an identical thing. He actually agrees with President Trump, who he didn't vote for, by saying that the, these constant efforts against Donald Trump to weaponize the political system, to score political points using criminal investigations, they're corrupting our system. And he went a step further. He actually attacked his own party's largest donor. He said that George Soros is corrupting the justice system by trying to buy local prosecutors and in, in investigations. That's coming from a liberal Democrat who, by his own admission, supported Joe Biden in 2020. The fact that Donald Trump and Alan Dershowitz sound the same in that criticism ought to be a warning sign to many Democrats across the country. This could very well backfire in Alvin Bragg. 